מה שאנחנו רואים פה, אנחנו רואים את העתיד, העתיד של התעשייה. מה שרואים כאן זה ירוק. אנחנו ירוקים, ירוקים עד רמה שזה מתחיל מהפסולת המפעלית. כן, זה בדיוק ירוק. אני מאוד גאה בזה. A journey through the production plants and mines, the main headquarters and all the industrial areas in the desert revealed to us the less known side of ICL. It is their production plants that are practically the only green spot in the midst of this barren land. אין כזה בעולם. אין כזה בעולם. סדר גודל של כזה אין בעולם. זה בעצם תחנה מאוד מאוד חדשנית. This is the first time ICL is publicizing the world's one and only pump which does not use any electricity. This pump brings every day millions of cubic meters of water from the Dead Sea Works to the Arava River. The reason here is to create a state of water, like in the Shiva, only without a boat. It's hard to believe, but the fact is that 160,000 cubes are going here in a hour במשאבה שלא מופעלת בחשמל בכלל, אלא רק בזכות חוק הכלים השלובים. וזה קורה כאן, במפעלי ים המלח. When you enter the Dead Sea Works, you are met by decorative pools, by stacks that confirm to the strictest environmental standards, and by this eco-design building. ואחד בין הראשונים בארץ שנבנה לפי תקן הבנייה הארוכה. They thought of everything, the way it was constructed in relation to the sun, detectors which turn off the lights as the workers leave the rooms, insulated windows, water-conserving toilets, and a special mechanism that eliminates radiation. Not far away behind the building is a system for the separation of wastewater, which began operations less than a half a year ago. The green approach is felt everywhere. In every branch, the message has been clearly conveyed. The neighboring plant is proud of the eco-friendly way they treat the magnesium. זה בעצם מערכת קולטנים כדי לשדרג את הייבוש של הכלור והקליטה של הכלור. No less than one million dollars have been invested in the magnesium factory for environmental improvement. As a result, they also found that the product itself was improved. אנחנו מפחיתים את רמת הזיהומים מאוד משמעותית ומגדלים את האיכות של הכלור. זה המשמעות של זה. יש יתרון בלחשוב ירוק. חיסכון כלכלי. זאת אומרת, כמה שאתה חושב יותר ירוק, אתה בעצם גם מועיל לסביבה וגם מועיל... This is a revolutionary change in one of the facilities that was in previous years seen as a cause of some of the greatest impact on the environment. We did a trip with my family to the Kivun Elat, and my father asked me, Father, tell me, all the issues in these areas, are you connected to this? It was hard for me, but I said to him, yes, yes, Daniel. Everyone, from the manager to the last employee, were ready to make Dramatic changes. One of the important things we did was that we stopped using water from the water. And all the water we are using today for the water of the water is all water from the water. All water from the water. These facilities at Oron and Sin clean the waste water and supply water to these tankers, which previously would have been wasting precious drinking water only to wet the dirt tracks of the mine. אחת הפעולות הירוקות העיקריות של רותם אפשר לראות כאן מאחורי את הגבעה הנישאה הזאת שלמעשה הייתה מכתש אחד גדול שבזכות פעולה ירוקה אינטנסיבית הפכה לחלק מהטבע למעשה להשיב את הטבע לקדמותו. All the contractors have to work according to the eco-friendly standards set by Rotem. In this, there is no flexibility. The garage employees also decided to join Rotem's green revolution. In the past years, there was a lot of green, and there was a lot of green, and there was a lot of green. 
The once grey garage has become the most pleasant working area of Rotem. There is the magnificent fish pool and environmental sculptures made out of waste metals. Even adjustable wrenches no longer in use have become part of a designer's fence. The massive floods which ripped through the Negev soil last winter created this small lake right across the Tsin production plant and mines. Tsin pumped out almost one million cubic meters of water from this new lake. And indeed, they also saved a lot of money used to build dust-free roads, energy-efficient lighting, and a general facelift for the workplace. At the nearby Oron production plant, an eco-friendly building was built. Here, even if you try hard, you will find no light bulbs. This means a reduction in the energy, a reduction in the water, a reduction in the water, a reduction in the water. We are in a building that we are also working on and we feel good in it. For the employees at Sin and Oron, the Green Revolution has completely changed the working environment. The air is much better, we don't feel much better. בקצה העולם באיזה חור עם אבק ואיזה, אנחנו כבר נמצאים במפעל רציני שמתחזק את עצמו והוא נראה מקום ממש חדש, הוא פשוט הפך את פניו. There is no department or section in ICL that has not yet been cut up in the green eco-friendly net. The transport section stopped throwing out tires and instead has made them into plant pots. On this backdrop, this is where each truck goes through an ecological checkup. All the tankers come to this special and unique washing facility, which is filmed here for the first time. Every drop here is used, recycled, cleaned, and then transferred to the nearby bromine production plant. And who would believe that this is how the Ramat Chovav bromine compounds production facility looks? It's not a kibbutz, but you might think so by mistake. We stroll to the end along an avenue of vegetation arranged in boxes made out of recycled materials, and we reach the facilities where large quantities of wastewater are biologically purified by the use of bacteria. At the electricity control center of the bromine company plants, electricity use is continuously monitored to ensure efficiency. And if you want to relax, come to this spa-looking area where here too, Everything is made of recycled materials. We arrive at Periclass and immediately film this beautiful sculpture garden, again made entirely of recycled materials. But soon we discover that the most significant eco-friendly initiative is concealed right here in these pipes. The natural gas facility that was built here this year makes the use of polluting fuel oil and mazout history. At this facility where raw materials for the medical and the food industries are produced, it is understood that they cannot allow themselves the luxury of not being green. In every place in ICL, every production plant, from the pit of the mine to the roof of the eco-friendly building, from the use of nature's resources to their rehabilitation, 
each and every one has adopted the green culture in his own way. Everyone is proud of the transformation that has occurred in their facilities. <laughs> יש לנו המון גאווה בעצם.